Is that sharks? I don't know if that's... Oh my gosh! <laughs> Yo! Look at them all! Got this nomad popper right here. We're gonna cast out a few times, see if we can locate some big bull reds. I like to shut the engine off when I'm in an area where I think there might be some fish and just kind of take a minute and look around. There's some stuff actually blowing up right over there. Of course, <laughs> I passed them on the way here. See some birds diving. I'm not sure if that's dolphins or uh, redfish over there, but sometimes it is very important just to stop and just take five, 10 minutes and just gaze around the area, see what things look like you know sometimes when you're running you just don't you don't really pay attention to little stuff little details that might tell you where some fish are at we're sitting in about four or five foot of water right now the water don't look too bad uh, on the other side of this island that I'm at it's like chocolate milk but once you come across this bar right here it's actually pretty nice so I think while we're here we're gonna make a few casts with this popper yeah, them birds are definitely diving on something over there. So we're gonna we're gonna pick up and move over there. I think that's where the fish are gonna be. Definitely looks promising. Oh yeah, they're diving on something. Just seen something bust on top of the water. Oh yeah, that's four reds. Oh yeah, they're tearing it up. Woo, we about to get on them, y'all. We about to get on them. On the popper. Try to right up here and ease up to them. Woo we about to get them. I don't want to spook them, so I'm going to ease up here, kind of see which way they're moving. Maybe we can lower one of them in. Oh, he's right on it. He's right on it. He's after it. Oh, he's after it. Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Is that sharks? I don't know if that's. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yo, look at them all. Dude. There he is. How sick is that? There was like 30 redfish. They still fall on them. <laughs> he don't even know he's hooked. <laughs> They're just sitting here following the boat. And I hope the GoPro's picking this up. This is so sick. <laughs> All right, let me get the net. Try and get this one in the boat. Oh my gosh, I could free scoop one of them. I wish I would have been a little bit better prepared. Y'all, they're all over the place. Yeah. This would be nice to have a second person. All right, come here. Come here, girl. Come here. They're all up under them. They're just hanging around the boat. Ah, gotta get in the net. Oh my gosh. This is so difficult here. Got her. We got her. Get that single hook out. Y'all, how awesome was that right there? First cast with the popper. I didn't see them until I threw the popper out there and then they just, just blew up on top of the water. This is probably about a 30, let's see. 
that is a 40 inch redfish beautiful colors now in alabama we are allowed to keep one over slot however i do highly recommend letting all these big girls go these are our breeder fish and uh once they get this big their meat is just not as great so we're gonna hurry up and get this girl back just gonna dive her in head first y'all i really was not expecting to get one on the first cast i'm out of breath i don't see the fish right now so we're just gonna make another blind cast start working this popper i really need to take the time and get the drone up in the air so we can get a, a good picture of just how many fish there was i know one thing i'm about to take these bibs off because i'm sweating already still looking for these birds i'm seeing a single bird right here He's hovering. He sees something I don't. Hey. Yeah, I was actually just calling you. I just uh, caught one, and it was about a school of about 50. Yeah, right here where I'm at. I don't see him anymore, but they're around here somewhere. Oh, there he goes. We're on, baby. Oh, he pulled it. Come over here, quick. Oh yeah. Starboard of my bow. I'll try and keep him in the water for you. <laughs> Y'all, that's my buddy Taylor. He's a another local guide in the area. We're gonna see if we can get him to get on some. <laughs> Third cast, by the way. I didn't even have time to take my bibs off yet. There he is. Woo! This setup is might be a little overkill. This is a uh, 5,000, I think, die with BG with a uh, star rod. Got some good power to it. But it's got some flex to it as well. Right here. Oh, he pulled it. Oh, he took my hook off. That's why. They might pop back up here in a minute. That one just ripped my dang single hook off my lure. Oh, there he goes. Golly, it was just a blind cast. Let me get my other camera going. <laughs> Y'all, I've been searching around for about 20, 25 minutes or so. Finally, uh, I turned on my radar and uh, found another school of birds probably about a half a mile away. We're in a little bit deeper water now, about 25 feet. And uh, that was my first cast. Had this little uh, slick pop up right here i don't know if y'all can see on the gopro uh these fish feeding started marking something on the uh towards the bottom and uh said shoot i'll throw a top water out and we hooked up on the first cast honestly didn't even ah honestly didn't even see this fish hit fish just pulled the hook because i've only got one hook on yep he just pulled the hook all right, so we took a little break from the bull reds, searched for about 30 minutes, couldn't find any more but that one that we pulled the hook on. So we pulled up to the nearest rig. Of course, it's another beeper. If y'all watch the channel, y'all know I just can't stay away from these beeping rigs. But we're gonna see if we can put a few sheep in the boat, maybe five or six, just to bring home some meat. And then uh, we're gonna go try and chase those redfish again. If y'all been watching my last couple videos, sheep's head bite has been really good right now because it is the spawn. However, it does kind of get a little old posting sheep videos after sheep videos. So try and switch it up when I can. Call my shot on that cast. Uh oh, might need to tighten the drag just a little bit. Get out of there. No! Feels like a pretty decent one. 
Sometimes you just gotta circle around till you find where they really like to hang out at. Oh yeah, that's good eater size. Yeet. Uh, nothing to brag about, but definitely a decent fish. Thank you, buddy, I do appreciate it. I'll stick you in this bucket. Get us another crab out of here. Y'all know I love me some, some mud crabs, always keep me some on deck. Just put that whole thing on this size one octopus hook. Ooh, he kind of frayed me up a little bit. Oh well, we're gonna risk it. I don't feel like retired. Get back in that sweet spot again. And I am using a pin battle. This is a uh, 3000, yeah, 3000 setup. Medium power, fast action rod. Always say you don't need anything fancy coming out here getting on these sheeps. Just something with a little bit of backbone because these fish are pretty powerful for their size and you get a big one, they can get, get you in that structure very, very quick like we're, we are, we're already on. That was quick. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Just like that, he's going. Get out of there. <laughs> digs, good digs. Oh yeah, another good fish. About the same size as that last one. Identical twin, just about. See if we can eat him in the boat. Yee! Oh, he's a little bit bigger than I thought. Yeah, we go. <laughs> Heck yeah. Hook come right on out. There's another, that's probably about a 17 inch fish. Can we go three in a row? I'm gonna have to let him chew on this one for a minute. A little bit bigger crab. All right. Same spot, same spot. Right there. These fish tend to be hanging about five to 10 foot down. Look at that, instant, instant bite. That's we're on. Oh, he's up in it. Get out of there. My line's already frayed. <laughs> Get out of there. Get out of there. All right, we got him. I think. Trollo motor's going crazy. You always want to be careful if y'all are fishing around these rigs with uh, spotlight troll motors because the tops of these rigs will sometimes mess up the satellite signal on the spot lock and uh, will definitely get you messed up if you're not paying attention. Oh yeah. The line's a little fray, but we're gonna, we're gonna try and eat this fish. Hey Number three. <laughs> In about 10 minutes. Yeah, I just don't get any better than this right here. This is my, probably my favorite time of the year, March and April. One, because of these fish, and two, spring, everything's heating up, bull reds is coming in, Spanish mackerel. I mean, the, the fish species is endless out here on the Gulf Coast as to what we can go target starting in April. And uh, I just love it. I'm really pushing my luck with this leader right now. It's probably gonna snap at any second. But y'all know how it is, the bite's good. You get, you get lazy, don't feel like retying. I usually have more setups, but uh, this is 25 pound test fluoro. And I've got two split shots on there. Of course, y'all know I got my crab. Come on. I know that's the honey hole spot. There he is. They're just sitting on top of each other. <laughs> Get out of there. No, oh, come on. Oh. Oh, he's wanting to go to that pole. What are you doing, troll motor? Troll motor sabotage me. That's what I mean. Still got a fish on. Let's try not to destroy my boat here. The boat's more important than the fish. Oh, he's digging. 
Come on. Oh, this is a pretty big one. If I can get him up. He is mad. Loosen the drag just a little bit. I do believe we're gonna have to net this one. There's a follower right up under it. Oh, I think I got him snagged. That's, yeah, that's why. All right, I think he's hooked good. Mm. <laughs> Each one is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, that's a stud right there. You can see that this is a female. She's got her eggs just about, just about to pop out right there. So it's always nice when you can release these right here because there's no telling how many eggs in her belly that she's gonna put out in the water that it's gonna turn into baby sheeps and eventually some bigger sheep. So we're gonna give her a kiss, let it go. All right. There we go, there we go. Oh, that's a decent one. Feels like it anyways. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Yo, there's one following it right there. Might be able to free scoop it. Ah, it's gone. A lot of times these fish have followers behind them and you can actually free scoop them. I've done it twice. I did it last year actually on video and then I've actually did it two weeks ago on a charter. That is another, another pig. Big old slap full of eggs. Definitely gonna let this girl go too. Plenty of other keeper sized fish that's not full of eggs that we can keep. All right, y'all, we are back at the launch now. We didn't find any more bull reds after we left that rig. So we're just gonna go ahead and call it quits. Had a good time out there. Uh, always a good time when you can get on some bull reds on poppers. Unfortunately, I lost two. Lost the uh, one of the single hooks on my popper. That is probably why I uh, lost those two fish. I don't know if y'all can see that split ring is, is broke. I was a little unprepared. Didn't think we were gonna get on that kind of action, but we did get a bucket of sheep's head right there we're going to take home and cook up i know the sheep's head fishing is kind of probably getting old to some of y'all but you know the fish are biting it's hard not to get out there and get on some fish hopefully in the next couple weeks we can start targeting some different species and i will be doing a uh, one year review on the blackjack here probably in the next uh, one or two videos just kind of talking about the pros and cons and do I still enjoy the boat. But that's for another time. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We'll see y'all back out in the water next time.